Coach, first and foremost, congratulations on a great year. Um, if you could give us this little opening statement about today's game. <clears throat> yeah, um, Florida State's got a really good team. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, they play better than we did today. Uh, you have to tip your cap to them. A really, really good lineup, two top, probably 15 picks. Uh, but we battled. I mean, we battled all year. It didn't surprise me that we made a run back there. Uh, you know, just didn't get it done. You know, it's it's not easy to talk this time, you know, when the season ends. I've been out here at the end of the day. There's only one team that's happy when it's all, when the dust settles out here in Omaha. But I told the guys in the locker room, the word that came to my mind was proud just because they they should be proud of what they've done this entire season. Uh, they've worked since August. They've stayed together. They've pulled hard for one another. They gave our fans so much to be passionate about, so much to look forward to. Um, our fans were awesome. I'm just proud of Carolina baseball, where it is. Uh, but that's a credit to our players in that locker room this year and all the support that this program has. Um, I'm proud to be the leader of the program. But, man, these guys, uh, you know, I'm just so thankful that they took me along this ride with them. Thank you. We'll open questions right here for the student athletes first. Mario Bonham, Mentorial Tribune. Fans down six runs. You guys showed a lot of heart. Can you talk about that starting with your home run in that big inning? Uh, yeah, that's just kind of how this team's been all year. Um, there's just no quit. Um, that's a credit to, you know, how we're trained, how we're coached, um, and the character of the guys in the locker room. Jake McKeever, College Baseball Central. Vance, this team had a ton of memorable moments along the way. What's one that really stood out to you this year? Um, it's hard to put your finger on just one. Um, you know, probably a Sunday win at you know Miami or UVA or State. Or, you know, coming back from uh, losing the first game at Duke, winning the series, just things like that, that kind of just really defines this team, I guess. You know, kind of, you know, when everyone else is counting us out, you know, just being able to kind of battle um, and play for each other. Adam Smith with Inside Carolina. Casey, how would you sum up this ride that you guys have been on this season to get to this point? And, also, the end there, you guys you know, kind of stayed around the dugout for a while and I guess kind of were taking it in a little bit. Just what what was that like, the season and, and then the ending? Yeah, I'm, I mean, it was an unbelievable season. I mean, you guys saw it. We uh, we had one of the best teams in the country, and, you know, our end goal was to win this whole thing. But, um, I mean, we came down here, and uh, I, I think the postseason sums it up. We didn't we didn't hit like we necessarily wanted to. We, we knew we were capable of doing more, but – we found a way. We found a way. We found a way, and then, you know, we didn't get it done. But um, I mean, I think that's just that just shows what kind of team we had this year. We were a close knitted team, and uh, everyone was pulling for each other, and uh, good things happened. But at the end of the day, we we didn't get what we wanted. But I, I, you know, I have zero regrets, and I know this team has zero regrets because we wanted it. You know, we, we all did. So uh, I mean, there's nothing to hang your head on because you know we gave it all we had. We did everything in our power to win, and uh, it just didn't didn't work out. Grace Nugent, Inside Carolina. Vance, Casey, just what did this experience mean to you playing with these guys on this stage and what might be some of your last college games? Uh, yeah, you know, we stay at day one. Uh, you know, the goal is to win a national championship. Yeah, it starts with getting out here in Omaha. Um, you know, you don't want it to end, but, you know, if it does, then you want it to be out here. Um, and, you know, we're very fortunate to to have had that. Um, you know, these experiences with, you know, these guys and this team, you know, you won't forget it. Um, just to, you know, be able to 
continue playing what you just continue to play the sport you love, um, you know, with the guys that you, know, you want to be around every single day, and you have been. Uh, so just it's special um, to be able to to be out here and to to share these moments with these guys. Yeah, I mean, just like what Van said, uh, we came into school together, so we've been playing with each other for three years, and that's I mean that's what it's all about. Like these are my best friends, and uh, you know if I wanted a season to end anywhere, you know I'd want it to be in Omaha, and uh, doing it with your best friends is even even more special. So uh, like I said earlier, we didn't get what we wanted, but uh, you know. It, I'm happy I can be here with the guys. You know, I I kind of grew up grew up playing with. So, any other questions? One last question for the players, right here. Or... Casey, you were mentioning it there. I mean, you've been playing beside Vance for several years now. What, what was what's it like? You know, seeing him play on a day to day basis, and just some of these special things that he's done across the course of his career. I mean, yeah, you guys see, he's a good. He's a a great leader. Um, he plays hard. He plays to win. Uh, you never hear him talk about himself because he's not concerned about that. You know, he's concerned about winning, and uh, it's contagious. And uh, I mean, playing playing outfield next to him uh, makes my job easy. I don't really have to. I don't have to cover much ground, <laughs> so that was nice. But uh, you know, more so for the team, uh, it's contagious. It spreads. You know, he's a winner. He wants to win, and uh, he's a big reason why we're here. So um, it was a pleasure for me. It was a pleasure for the whole team. Casey Vance, thank you very much. Uh, congrats on the great year, and thank you for what you guys do for college baseball. We'll open for questions for Coach. First question right here. Yeah, Kevin Brockway from Get Coach, how tough was that top of the ninth inning to swallow? I mean, you have a two-run game, and it seemed like the wind shifted, and they got a couple of balls up in the jet stream there. Yeah, I mean, the first one, I just thought he got up in that jet stream. Um, and then the next one, you know, he, the guy hit a mistake, and that's what good hitters do. I thought he hit that one. I thought that would have been out anywhere. Uh, obviously, we felt like we were in striking distance, but this team still, they came in, you know, talking about getting the tie and run to the plate. Uh that word belief is extremely important and having faith. And uh, there was no doubt in my mind we get the time run, something crazy was going to happen. Unfortunately, it just it just didn't. Okay. We're going to go one here and two. It's right up here. Obviously, Dalton had an amazing run, 14 and a third shutout innings. What was it today? Just just baseball? I just didn't have his best stuff? Yeah. Um, I feel like he couldn't get that cutter where he wanted to throw it. Uh but man, like Kyle talking about a kid that we wouldn't be here without him. And, uh, you know, he's just human. And you have to give Florida State some credit, too. I really thought, uh, it's no offense to any of the teams we played all year, I thought top to bottom, that was the most balanced offense, left, right, right, left, speed, power. Uh, and they made, made, it, made Dalton pay for some mistakes, but he sure was getting after it. And, you know, they just got some hits. Emma Moon, Daily Tar Heel. Coach, with this just being one of your most successful seasons as head coach, ACC regular season championship, making it to um, the College World Series, what has this year meant to you and what has it meant to do it with this team? I mean, to be bluntly honest with you, it, I changed the lens through, what's, through how I coached a couple years ago and I give all that credit to having faith in, in Jesus Christ and it's all about relationships for me. Um, so it's not about me. It's not about you know me getting the team to Omaha. It's about the team getting to Omaha and the program and the former players. You know, so that's what I'm most disappointed in is I don't get to put the uniform on again tomorrow with my team. I don't get to see uh, all the former players that are out here. Um, and then you, and, and you, the longer you do it, you just realize those relationships, and that brings you just pure joy. I mean, it's hard when you lose like that. But we talk about it all the time. Even if you win a national championship, where's your joy coming from? Um, and I think these guys know where that comes from, and it comes from creating those memories that you know, and having those relationships that you're you're never gonna lose. Um, so it means a lot for our program. More, uh, the program's way b bigger than me. Uh, the university's bigger than me, and the players are way much, much. They're the ones that make the program. Uh, so for me, I'm just so happy that 
they got to experience Omaha, and we got a lot of young guys that I'm hoping can help all these other guys that, you know, come back to UNC and come in that they can also experience Omaha. Last three questions. One, two, three. Uh, Coach Forbes, Eric Sorensen from D1 Baseball. You've been here before, obviously, as an assistant a couple times, and, and just the, this, the road you guys took this year was so, you know, there's so much drama and it was so bizarre. Uh, what was different about this team? You probably touched on a little bit, but what was different about this team that made them overcome, you know, like the LIU game, the LSU game, and, and, and the, the Super Region and all that? You know, if I had to put my finger on one thing, it would just be selfless. Um, you know, just guys really pull for one another. And that can be hard sometimes because everybody wants to play at this level and everybody's talented. And you look at that lineup card and your name's not in it, you know, how are you going to react? But it's a powerful – we talk about how corny the word love is, but I tell the guys all the time, like, that needs to be the backbone of everything we do here. Um, if you really care about each other and you really love one another, you're going to be competitive and you want to be in the lineup. But I think these guys wanted it so bad for each other. Uh, and that is such a powerful thing. Um, and, a lot, and all of our teams, you know, that was something that a lot of our teams have had that have made it out here, that camaraderie. It's never perfect. Uh, but – that would be what I would say, just a selfless group that they had one mission. Um, they believed in us as coaches when we talked to them about, like, hey, you know, the most important thing is everybody's on the same, the same mission and everybody's pulling in the same direction. If you do that, you have a chance to have a special season. And they, they, they decided to do that, and we had a special season. Uh, Mike Lopressi, NCAA.com. Every coach probably has had to do the thing you did after that game where you walk down the dugout afterwards and you're shaking hands with everybody, including some people who just played their last game for you. How hard for you personally are those moments? I mean, they're, they're difficult for sure. Um, but if you really step back and think about it, um, they're difficult because you care so much about them and they care so much about each other. So... Uh, you know, but it's, it's hard because you just, you know, personally, I just care about the guys and I hate to see them hurting. Uh, I've been in their shoes. It was only a division three, uh, world series, but to me that was a big deal. And, and we lost out there and I've seen, you know, the locker room with the other guys to see their hurt. Uh, but there's also so much joy again, that word that goes into just being with the guys and, and we talked about, Hey, like they said it, if you're going to have to shed some tears. You sure would rather share them in, in Omaha than share them somewhere else. So we're thankful that we got out here. The last question right here. Scott, how would you describe what you've seen from Vance Honeycutt the last couple of years and also the way he showed up uh, out here in Omaha? You know, from, this, from just his ability, I always use the word electric. Um, that's just what he is. He's electric. And, uh, you know, he is the definition of, of a leader. Um, he has integrity. He works. He puts winning first. Uh, you know, and he's also just a kid. And he plays like that. And he plays free and easy. And, uh, man, I'm going to just miss watching. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to miss not just watching them play. I'm going to just miss seeing them every single day. Uh, but, man, he is something else, isn't he? He, he was whew, one of the best I've ever coached. Coach, once again, thank you. You've had a great year, and thank you for your time. Thank you all. Thanks, Dave.